Okay, question number 14. A loan of $15,025 is repaid by making annual payments of $5,142.24 at the end of each year. Okay, if interest is 5.89% compounded annually, how many payments are required to amortize the loan? Round up the answer to the next higher whole number. For example, if the number comes out to be 5.12, it must be entered as a six. All right, so let us do what we need to do. The amount of the loan is $15,025, so that would be the present value. Okay, we could put in 0 0.00 if we wish. And the payment, each payment is $5,142.24. Future value will be zero. That means the loan should be paid off. And the interest is 5.89% compounded annually. So PY equals CY is equal to, sorry, one. 5.89 goes in the interest rate. Yeah. It's compounded annually and the payments, their annual payments, right? Also, so that's why they are the same. Okay, so we need to compute N. So let's get the calculator up and let's do our computation. Okay, so PY and CY, they're both one, so we have that already. And we don't know how many years, we know the interest rate is 5.89. 5.89, that is interest rate. Present value is, of course, the amount of the loan, $15,025, 15,025, and that is the present value. Payment is $5,142.24. So that is the payment. We put it in as negative because we, it's an outflow of money. Zero means the loan should be paid off and we go and compute N, the number of payments. So the answer is actually 3.30. But for the number of payments, we will have to round it up, and so the number of payments will be four. Now, what this means is that there'll be three payments of $5,142.24. But the fourth payment will be less. Okay, so now we have to complete the amortization table below. Right, enter only positive values in the amortization table around it to two decimal places. All right, so how do we do amortization? Well, amort appears just above PC, PV, sorry, present value, so second TV, and there we are into the amortization menu. Now, first payment, it means that T1 should be equal to one. So we put one, enter, and we will put for P2, we'll one also an enter, and that would be the balance after the first payment. So the balance after the first payment is $10,767.73. Next is the principal that was repaid. So $4,257.23. We're rounding to two decimal places. All right, the next one is the interest paid, that will be paid back, paid $884.97 interest. Now, if we add this one to this number here, we should get this number here, the payment, correct? And like I said, these payments, these first three payments will be the same. Okay, it's payment number four, that will not be the same as these first three. Okay, so let's go and calculate payment number two. What happens when we do payment number two? So now P1 will be two, and P2 will also be two. 
And how much balance will there be? Well, it'll be $6,259.71. The amount paid on the principal is 4,508.02, right? And the amount of interest is $634.22. All right, like I said, if we add these two here, we should get this number over. Okay, sorry, the calculator went off the screen. All right, now the third payment is right here. So if P1 is three now, P1 is equal to three and P2 is also three. And you get the balance. The balance is $1,486.17. We round to two decimal places. The principal repaid is $4,773.54. The amount of interest paid is $368.70. Why? Because 69, we have to wrong because of that seven, so that will be the number there. All right, now, what happens with payment number four? How do we calculate that payment number four? Well, maybe the easiest way is to go and put in four for payment number four. All right, so we put in four, okay? And then we go and see the balance. Now, you see the balance has a negative value. All right, so let's put that somewhere. We can say uh, a balance, so balance, or maybe we should put in that P1 is equal to four, P2 is also equal to four, and then we go with the balance is equal to negative 3,568.5. I four if you round to two decimal places. All right. Okay. We'll leave that for now. Let's continue the process. We go down. Now this interest is indeed the correct number. So that number, that value we will put in here as eighty seven point five four. Okay, that is the interest. So that is correct. That is accurate now. Why this balance has a negative value is because there's an overpayment. Remember the the number for N was, uh, if we recall N, it was 3.3. .3. Okay, so let's go back into the amortization menu and we go balance is there. So what happens is that if we take this regular payment here and subtract this number here, the numerical value, we will get how much this payment number four should be. So let's do that. So, so we can say payment number four. All right, we're doing that. We go, it should be, we can say it's the PMT minus the balance. Okay, balance, all right. So that would be equal to 5,142.24 minus 3,568.54. And if we do that computation, let's get the calculator and do the computation. All right, if you want to do it quickly, we could just keep this negative and then go and add this number 5142.24. So 5142.24 if we do that, we get an answer of 1573.70. So this number here should be 1573.70. Now, all we need to do is what? Yes, we need to take this number, subtract this number, and we should get this number here. And that number should be equal to or very, very close to that, maybe by one cent or somewhere, something like that. Okay, now we can come out of here and enter the number again, or we can just stay in here. Don't worry about the BAL, BAL showing up. There's no equal sign, so it's not in there. So let's go and let's subtract this 
0.54, and we get a number that is what? 1,486.16. Now you can see it's out by one cent. It's just one cent difference, and that is how it works. So here you will find um, maybe one one cent in here, or it, you really should have been one seven, but because of rounding in the whole process. So if you subtract this from this, you will get. Is zero one, and that's allowable in terms of the answer. All right, now the total. This total here, you can see it is what? Well, it comprises of three payments at five thousand one hundred forty-two dollars and twenty-four cents, and one payment of one five seven three point seven zero. Now we could do this a different way. You could go back to the calculator. All right, just go around. And put P1 equals to 1. Okay, this is this is the total now. So P1, we go from 1 to 4. It's a total. So, and P2 is 4. So the balance, let's ignore that. The principal, we can ignore that. Also, the interest is supposed to be correct. And it is correct. It's 1975.42. If you wish, you could go and it'll be very close to this number here, the, the total of these numbers. So that is the interest, all right? Now, you know that this number in here should be this number, correct? Because you are repaying the loan. So we could put that number down here, 15.025.00. And if you add this number to this number here, we should get the correct answer. All right, so let's come out of here first. And let's go and put in 15.05025. Okay, you could point zero, 00 if you wish. Then we add that to 19.75.42. Which is this number right here. Okay. And that number we get is 7,000. The total is 17,000, sorry, $17,042. Okay. Now we can check. We can put it into, we can submit and check and then see if everything is well. And so far, everything seems to be well. Now, you may want to add all of these numbers up. And you can see from here, six plus four is 10, plus two is 12, and seven would be 19. So it seems as though this might be just off by one cent. Okay. And here also, seven plus two is nine, and four would be 13. So this may be off by one cent also. Okay, but that is not a problem. It shows that from the checking that we are within the tolerance of the answer. So the question has been done correctly.